Hey guys, how you doing? Ron's a nut here with a new video for you. This is uh, an uh, PSA um, submission reveal. I uh, it's my first one. I have had uh, I've done HGA and SGC, and if you've watched my channel, you've seen that I have basically. I think I've sent in five cards for each of those. Um, but this one here is a five card reveal. I had won the lottery, and so I have. Um, these five cards, three of them are 2019 Flare Autos from the uh, that Flare set. And this first one here is a 93 Deadpool. Uh, they're all, uh, let's see, a couple of them are, were pack pulled and a couple were um, were not. They were, they were purchased uh, or I got from Com C. So uh, anyway, it'd be interesting to see what I got. I don't think I got any 10s. I'm um, hoping for nines and nothing less than that, but I guess we'll find out here. Uh, I am overdubbing this audio, so um, I had a problem with some echo. Really bad when I first recorded this, so bear with me if uh, you see any disconnects here. But um, getting ready to let's take a look and see what this um, Deadpool came back to us here as. And the card was uh, really sharp. This was a pack pull one. I opened uh, this box uh, about a month or two ago. And uh, I thought I would test this Deadpool and got a 9. So um, I'm good with that. I'm glad I didn't get less than that. Especially these early 90s cards that have a ton of them produced. Um, getting a 10 would be outstanding. But... A nine, so I don't know exactly what uh, was the problem with that one, but so the next one here is one of the Flare uh, 2019 Flare. This one is an autograph from uh, E.M. Geist, and he this is a Mysterio. Now, this one is 17 of 30, and Let's see. This one was pack pulled. I did get this right out of a box. I think I've opened like four or five boxes of these 2019 flares. <clears throat> but this one uh, should be in pretty good shape. Although, who knows, maybe these corners are a little up. That's a nine. So, all right. It is what it is. I'll take it. Next one is a Peach Momoko. This is uh, not easy to find. Uh, again, this is numbered. This one here is 28 out of 30. And this one actually came to me in a set. I bought a set, a 2019 set of cards of this. And uh, this was the number 100 card. And it was an auto. And this is an 8. So, again, this one was handled a little bit. I did clean it up as best I could. It looked pretty good to me, but it's an auto, still unique. <clears throat> Next up is my first PMG for submission. And uh, this Punisher looked pretty good. It's 2017 Fleer Ultra Spider-Man. This is, um, I believe this is 109 of 199, or 189 of 199. And I really wish they would put uh, the card numbers on the labels, but they did not put the card number on the labels. I I put in more detail when I fill out the submission forms, but they don't do that. They have a standard, I guess, they go by. And uh, this bronze Punisher looked pretty good to me, uh, but I put it in one of those card savers, and I don't know if that smushes down the card. I don't like that, but a 9. I'll take a 9, a 9 on a PMG, that's, that's doable. I'll do that every day of the week. So I appreciate that one. And then the last one is uh, another, is my third auto from the 2019 Marvel Flare. Now, I don't know if you can see it here, um, but on the back of this card when a uh, guy signed it, he used one of these, uh, you know, a silver ink pen like you saw on the other, um, the other auto cards. 
and there are like five marks on the back of the card where he must have placed it down on another card that he signed. So this is the same artist, and that's the signature you're going to see. But that silver ink pen <clears throat> is on the back of the Moon Knight. So you can see there's a couple of spots back there. But I don't know how bad PSA grades for that. Certainly they'll take something off, so I expect to get an 8 probably on this if I got an 8 for the Peach Momoko. Um, and the other guys were pack pulled, so let's see what I got. The front of the card is in pretty good shape. Corners. This came to me. I bought this off of eBay from a guy in Australia. So this was handled once before me when I got it. Uh, you know, it came in the top load and everything. But let's see. We got an 8. So I'll take it. It's still a super hard card to come by. So a Moon Knight PSA 8 auto card. So that is... Uh, it is what it is. I'll take it. I uh, I do like this card a lot. I do have another one that's non-autographed in my set. But I'm hoping to uh, sell this guy. And see if uh, he fetches a pretty penny because he is hard to come by. And this peach is another one that uh, should... Fetch a pretty penny because it is another one that's hard to uh, come by. I don't know about Mysterio. Uh, the 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 Moon Knight is uh, tier six, card number one forty nine. So that guy is really good. So that's it. That's my PSA reveal. I do have more. Um, and I have more PMGs in the next batch. Uh, as well as some jumble eyes and all that. But I'll do a reveal when that comes. As always, guys, I hope uh, you appreciate the art and enjoy your collecting. That's it from Ron's and Nut. Please like and favorite and hit the notification bell to get more from me. Have a good one.